Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In terms of sure to make a time kill zone in Roblox Studio similar to Call of Duty, and it's pretty simple, so let's get started. So you need the zone v3 module, and I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Once you download it, you can open toolbox and go to my models, and then you can put this in replicate storage like that. Now you need your uh time kill zone. So we're just gonna make a basic part for that. And then we're gonna scale this up to your liking, and then anchor it, set transparency you can set it to one i'm going to set it to like 0 0.7 just so you can see it for reference and then make sure can collide is false i'll make this a little more transparent like that now let's just name this kill and then in this you want to insert a script now we have to define some things so we have to define the zone module so local zone module equals required game that replicate storage that zone local container equals script parent container is basically the kill part and that's script parent and then local zone equals zone module dot new container and that'll create our zone so now we have to do zone dot player entered so zone dot player entered entered connect function player uh, let's also make our GUI. So it's I'm just gonna be a text table. So just insert this, name this GUI like that, and then insert a text label, and then make sure the text label size, the offsets are set to zero, so it fits for every screen. So set the offsets to zero, and then scale it up like that. And I'll just make some red text on the screen, basically saying it's like a, it's gonna be a countdown. So you have five seconds to leave the zone. Like that, make it red, bold, text scaled, bold, like that. And then I'll add a stroke to it. But to do that, just insert UI stroke like that, and then scale it up like that. Now put this, name this uh, kill text, and then put the GUI in the server script like that. So now in this function, you're gonna do local GUI equals script.gui clone GUI.parent equals player find first child player GUI. Now we have to do the countdown loop, and we're gonna use a for loop for that. So we do for i equals five, comma zero, comma negative one do so the five is the countdown time so it's going to be five seconds countdown you can change it to whatever number you want and then the zero is the target goal and then the negative one is what it's going to go down by so we do if zone colon find player player then gy dot kill text dot text equals you have put a space two dots to concatenate i Two dots again, parentheses, space, seconds to leave the zone. So it'll basically say you have five seconds, four seconds, three seconds to leave the zone. And then do task.wait1. And then you uh, do else break. So every second it's going to check if the player is in the zone. If they're still in the zone, then continue the countdown. If they're not in the zone, then stop the countdown. And then underneath this last end right here, do if zone find player player, then player dot character break joints like that. And basically it just kills the character. It's it's a more easier way. So now we have to do player exited and this will remove the GUI and stop the countdown. So zone dot player exited connect Jesus connect function player find first child player GUI find first child GUI destroy like that oh you have to define you have to put player in these parentheses right here 
and that is the script done so let's go ahead and test if we just click play here and then i'm not in the zone so if i enter the zone right here it'll say you have five four three seconds to leave the zone i'll leave the zone it goes away and i won't die but if i stay in the zone five four three two one zero then i <coughs> die um it's pretty simple like that if you need help with this you can join my discord server and link in the description below make sure to buy my plugin over here to support me um you may have seen it in the intro it's a pretty nice plugin i have the zone script already in here so i can just insert it in any game i want simply like that and yeah